This is a video presentation on measuring structural vibrations with a high-speed camera and the achievable displacement resolution potential of such an approach. When a structure vibrates, it flexes at different frequencies with different mode shapes. A beam will respond to an impact excitation by flexing with the following mode shapes, oscillating at different natural frequencies. The displacements caused by vibrations are very small, ranging in microns for higher kilohertz frequencies. Such small vibrations seem invisible when observing a slowed-down high-speed video of the vibrating structure. However, they can be identified using various optical flow algorithms. In our case, we opted for a simplified gradient-based optical flow, which works by relating the change in the pixel intensity via the intensity spatial gradient to the displacement, allowing for every pixel to act as a single degree displacement sensor. The minimal displacement measured from the optical information of a pixel directly relates to the intensity gradient of the film pattern and the intensity resolution of the camera. The intensity gradient is highest on an edge of a line. During the transition of the line over a pixel, the pixel will transit over all 2 to n intensity states, n being the camera bit depth, thereby producing a maximal displacement resolution of 1 over 2 to n of a pixel. For an 8-bit camera, this translates to about 4 thousandths of a pixel. By observing a larger area, a subset of the image, the displacement resolution can be even greater due to different pixels changing values at different times. The displacement resolution stated here is for an optimal and a no-noise case. A real-world displacement resolution between two images is typically cited at 1 hundredth of a pixel. The vibrations of linear structures are periodic. This can be used to identify displacements hidden in the noise. A Fourier transform transforms a signal to the frequency domain, producing a spectrum of the signal. If the signal is burdened by noise, a larger sample size will decrease the noise floor in the spectrum and the true signal will become more apparent. This is because the signal is coherent and the noise is not. The noise level will decrease with the square root of the sample size. Displacements below the aforementioned discrete displacement resolution can be identified this way. This is because a signal that is otherwise too small to cause a change of state can be superimposed on a carrier, helping it to cross the quantization level. The carrier can be another signal or even noise. This concept is known as noise dithering. The displacements from the high-speed video of the vibrating beam identified with the simplified gradient-based optical flow are animated here. These are the peak amplitudes from the spectrum indicating the beam's mode shapes. The shapes are evident even for mode shapes vibrating at the level of a thousandth of a pixel, which in the given case translates to less than a micron. Here, optical flow was used to identify the out-of-plane vibrations of a symbol excited by a shaker. The video was filmed at an 8-bit intensity resolution and produced 64 gigabytes of data. The displacements were identified at over 90,000 points for 112,000 frames. The displacement identification took 9.5 minutes on a laptop computer, and additional 15 minutes were taken by the Fourier transform that produced the spectral information. The symbol is a plate structure and exhibits a dense spectrum of dynamics, seen here in the plots of vibration shapes measured by the camera. Optical measurements using high-speed cameras present a novel approach to measuring vibrations. The high-speed camera measurements produce non-contact, simultaneous, tense full-field measurements and offer an alternative to the classical measurement approaches such as using accelerometers, scanning vibrometers or interferometric systems. Thank you for watching.